Hey, this is Brock Lemierson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the programming environment that we're going to use in this class. So we are going to pro learn how to program in the language called C. And we are going to develop our programs and compile them and execute them on a server that exists at Montana State University called the CSCI 109 server. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into the server and this is where you're gonna develop all your program files. So you're gonna create a file, you're going to enter in your program and then you're gonna save your file and then what you'll do is you'll compile it, you'll fix your errors and then you will run it again and you'll fix more errors and run it and fix it and run it and fix it <clears throat> and then you will be done and then you'll upload that, that file. It is very important for this class to know you have to work on the CSCI 109 server. There is no option for you to use your own compiler, your own development environment. Everything has to be on the CSCI server. And the reason is that, number one, I know the compiler tools that are available for you on this server. Not all compilers are the same, okay? So some compilers will have optimization set, different settings, they'll compile for different uh, kind of memory sizes, and they'll support different functions. I know the exact compiler on the CSCI 109 server, so I know what you can do and what you can't do. So all the assignments are based upon using this particular C compiler. The second thing is that I need to be able to see all of your files at any given time. So if you text me or do a or send something to the Discord, say you're having trouble with your program, I can immediately log in and go look at your files and I can also run your program to make sure that it is operating the same way that you describe it. <clears throat> okay? And then I can use that to potentially <clears throat> grade some of these things like if we had an exam but i need to be able to see exactly what you're doing okay so that's the biggest part of this don't plan or don't try to use any other development environment just use the csci server that we are going to provide okay now how do you get into this server we are going to do what we call an ssh into the server this server is all command line and this is kind of a cool thing because if you've never messed around with a computer at the command line this is good experience this is one of the things you'll learn in this class you are going to be issuing commands to the computer by typing them in there's not going to be a gui there's no graphical user interface and this is how most code is developed honestly and so this is kind of like getting used to doing it as a traditional programmer okay so we're going to log into the server and we're going to do it over the internet that and that allows you to do this class from anywhere on the planet because the server is at msu but you're going to just log into it and you're going to be sending very simple text-based commands to it and and there's not a lot of need for a, a fast internet connection the only internet connection you need for this is like watching the videos but when you actually program the server uh program on the server it's, it doesn't have to be terribly fast so you will code on this server by a remote connection called ssh then when you go to upload your files, you're gonna upload your program files and screenshots and stuff like that. You're gonna do it from over on <clears throat> Windows and so, or Windows or Mac. So you're gonna need a way to copy the files from the server, the CSCI 109 Linux server back to your own computer. And we'll use a command called secure copy. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up an SSH, which is called a secure command line interface between your computer and the CSCI 109 server. And and you are going to develop over here but you will be typing on your own computer all right and then when you're done and everything works you're going to want you to get your file back to windows or mac or linux over here your own machine in order to upload it to the brightspace assignment folder for grading we will use a command called secure copy for that now over on your computer you're going to also launch a command line interface and i'm going to do everything in what we call windows powershell this is like a if from the past this is like a dos prompt right you're going to have a dark screen and you're going to type in commands and you're going to launch the SSH. You're going to get over here and edit. I know what is supported in PowerShell. So I know that if you have Windows, you have PowerShell and I know the type of commands you can do. So everything in here is going to be designed around using Windows PowerShell. 
If you have a Mac, there is an SSH built into it and you got to go figure that out. Okay. Engineers all use uh, Linux and Windows machines. <laughs> and so if you're, you're kind of on your own if you have a Mac, but it, I've, I have students that have Macs and it's not that big of a deal. You, you can figure it out. But you, there's an SSH in there and then you can use tools like there's something called Putty, which can also do an SSH and it can do file transfer. But everything in this class is going to be shown from the Windows PowerShell. OK, now here's what it's going to look like. It, you are it's not going to look fancy. You are going to have these command line prompts. OK, so this over here is PowerShell and you're basically just going to sit here and you're going to issue commands and it's going to do all sorts of things. You're going to change directories and do whatever. That's what it looks like at the command line. This is where you'll actually launch an SSH. You just SSH into you know the server, uh, and I'll show you how to do all that. And this is where you're going to going to uh, command the Linux server from Windows. Once you do an SSH, what happens is it will then show you the Linux environment. So this blue screen will become the black screen, and now you're in Linux. And what's interesting about this class is that. I'm assuming you've never done anything at a command line. That's that's what we see today. Most students have used Windows and Mac GUIs. When you first start programming, you usually use like an Arduino interface or some some kind of graphical user interface to develop. You haven't developed a lot at the command line. As you learn more and more coding, it becomes easier to command it or program at the command line because you don't have as much overhead uh, in the system. And so it's just like, give me the files, let me compile, let me run this thing. And so this is this class is designed around the fact that you may not have ever seen a command line. So what we're going to do is in other videos, we're going to walk through what are the basic commands in Windows or, or DOS, if you <laughs> you know what that is, and how do you navigate folders over here and directories how do you how do you delete files how do you copy files how do you make directories but then when we have to do that because windows is where you're going to upload your files to brightspace but we also have to come over to linux and we have to figure out the commands here so it's not even we're not even at the programming yet it's just how do you make folders how do you change into folders how do you delete files how do you rename files so we have to go through this little exercise of kind of learning some basic command lines for windows and learning the basic command lines for linux in order to get to the point where you can actually develop programs but they all will be done on the csci server okay that is the overview of how we're going to program in this class and in the next videos we'll start looking at commands see ya